Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an introduction for you guys on my newest uh, challenge that I'm gonna be working on. Um, I saw Kristen K started this uh, challenge again because it is getting close to summer. Um, you guys have seen the title probably. It is the Finnish 6 by Summer Challenge. Um, Kristen K seems to be my inspiration for my challenges lately because she also kind of um, made me think about starting the Finnish 7 by Spring challenge and now I'm also going to be doing the Finnish 6 by Summer challenge. Um, if you don't know her yet, which I think would be surprising if you're here, um, you probably know her as well. So I'll link her down below anyway, just to be sure you can check her out if you do not know her yet. Um, Anyway, let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you guys the products, the products that I'm gonna be working on. Um, let's see, where am I gonna start? So, one of the products that I'm gonna try and finish this time is my Hula Bronzer. You've seen this in an earlier product project. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm just mixing up all the words. In an earlier project um, this year, I think even, and then I was trying to hit pen, but this time I'm gonna try and finish the whole thing. And um, this is where I am on that one currently, so there is a huge amount of print showing already. There is still quite a bit of product around the edges, of course, but like we've got until the 21st of June. Is that the first day of summer this time? Um, so I think it should be possible. I am using this as a bronzer pretty much every day already, just to kind of contour, I guess. And I'm actually also using this color as a transition color on my eyes. Um, so I think that will help me move it a little bit faster and I think I should be able to finish this one in about three months, two and a half months. <laughs> so next product, um, this is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm actually just realizing that I forgot to mark this one. I am pretty much all the way up here already, which makes it look like there isn't too much left anymore, but it takes me forever to finish this. I think I've been working on this for almost a year already at this point. And yeah, <laughs> I just don't go through these very quickly. So I think it's definitely gonna take me quite some time still before I finish up the last part, especially because this is the thickest part of the packaging as well. So I'm gonna mark this once I'm done filming and Let's see how far I can get on this one. I think I should be able to finish it, but I'm not even sure. Um, anyway, on to the next one. And I've got another blush in this project as well. I'm not going to be working on both of them. That would be a little bit too much. But I'm going to be working on the more orangey color on the side right here. Just because I've been panning so many pinks lately that I felt like going the complete other direction. And what I want to do with this one is just try and hit pen on this one so I don't think I will be able to finish the whole thing right away within like two and a half months I'm just trying to see how much is truly in there 7.4 grams in total so this is 3.6 3.7 uh, grams of product which is still quite a bit especially considering that uh, the glossy box uh, blush that I'm trying to pen or kind of like working on in my for the love of penning challenge Contains only two and a half grams of product. I think hitting pan is a is more than enough for now. So I'm gonna be working on this one. I'm not sure what the actual name of this one is because it's like an LA Colors dual blusher. And the two colors in here should be blushing pink and pink mauve. But this one is not pink, so I'm not really sure which one would be the mauve and which one would be the blushing pink. I'm guessing that this one is a little bit more mauve than this one, so. Would this be pink mauve? I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, anyway, I'm gonna try and hit pan on this color. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. Then, a product that you have seen in my For the Love of Penning challenge as well, or this is the first one that's in there as well, um, is my Miss Helen eyeshadow pencil in nine. It doesn't really have a proper name. I've been working on this side in my previous challenge, but now I'm gonna try and work on this side. So this is all I have left, and also I'm gonna mark this when I'm done filming. So this is just where I'm gonna start, and it is like quite a dark brown, as you can see. 
but when I blend this out it is not as dark anymore so I think I should be able to even wear this all over the lid kind of to, just to show you guys like this is what it looks like when you blend it out so I think it, I should be able to wear it all over the lid and work through it pretty quickly that way uh, I'm probably going to be working on this one for a little bit as well because I don't think I will have this finished at the end of like the for the love of penning challenge but I'm going to be kind of finishing this side off while working on this side as well. So that's the plan and let's see how far I can get. I hope I can finish it. And then lastly, um, my last two products are kind of two in one. But I'm going to count them as two products anyway because it's a lipstick and a lip gloss. Um, this is the Model Co. And it doesn't really have a name apart from that. Oh wait, it's the it's a lip duo. The names are here. It's in dusk. It's a lipstick. This is what I have in here. Also gonna mark this uh, after the video after I'm done filming. And this is a pretty browny nude color, kind of. It's a little bit dark on me. It's not really nude anymore, but that's what it looks like. Um, and it combines really well with this like orangey lip gloss on the other side which is striptease um, and that kind of lights it up a little bit so just to kind of show you guys I'm gonna do two swatches one on top of the lipstick so this is the lip gloss on its own which is just a pretty almost clear with a little bit of an orange base to it and on top of this one, I feel like it makes the lipstick a little bit lighter. So I think it should be easier for me to wear it when I top the lip gloss on top. So I think they would work really well together for me. And that's why I'm just putting them both in at the same time. It makes sense. It's pretty bulking packaging. Um, so I just want to get this out as quickly as possible because it's pretty heavy as well. So those are my last two products. One lipstick, one lip gloss. And those are my six products. So, um, yeah, let's see how I will do on this one. I'm thinking about probably updating you guys about every three weeks. So expect another update in a couple of weeks. And that is it for this one. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.